Good evening. In this video, I'll discuss about two types of functional forms of regression. One is log linear and another one is semi log linear. Let's understand log linear model with the help of these two equations. When I talk about this first one, it says natural log yi equal to natural log beta 1 plus beta 2 natural log xi plus error term i. Similarly, the second equation says natural log yi equal to alpha plus beta 2 natural log xi plus error term. So in this equation, alpha is nothing but natural log of beta 1. This model is linear in the parameters like alpha and beta, linear in the logarithm of the variables y and x and can be estimated by ordinary least square regression. Because of this linearity, such models are called log log, double log or log linear models. If I talk about features of log linear model, the model considers that the elasticity coefficient between y and x, it means dependent variable and independent variable, where beta 2, it means coefficient, remains constant throughout. Hence, the alternative name of this model is constant elasticity. In other words, the change in natural log y per unit change in natural log x, it means elasticity, which is your coefficient beta 2, and that remains the same no matter at which natural log x we measure the elasticity. Then let's talk about another form which is semi log models. So, this semi log model includes log lin and lin log models. If I talk about log lin model, generally either one can be economist, businessman, or government if their purpose is to want simply to know the rate of growth of any particular variables like maybe population, GNP, money supply, employment or any kind of uh, economic variables, then one has to apply log lean model. So in a nutshell, we can say if our purpose is to examine the rate of growth, then we can apply log lean model. So this can be presented in form of this equation like yt. Generally, yt is nothing but dependent variable in certain time period equal to yo 1 plus rt. So this is 1 plus rt is nothing but compounding. Compounding of your, you can say, the today price or maybe today series. Like right? then beta 1 equal to your natural log of y o beta 2 is nothing but natural log of uh, 1 plus r and if i combine then what i find i find natural log y t equal to beta 1 and beta 2 t plus error term so here simply my dependent variable is having the natural log but rest of like uh, beta 1 and my independent variable which is time does not have natural log. So in this model parameters like beta 1 and beta 2 are linear. The only difference is that the dv is the logarithm of y it means your dependent variable and regressor which is your independent variable is nothing but time. 
that may be your one two three uh, be it your year months etc so in this equation as uh, if i talk about semi log model then only one variable is there which appears in logarithm form and uh, let's see again so that is your dependent variable hence this is known as log lin model but if we consider a model in which, in which regression is linear but the regre regression is logarithm that may be your lean log model it means in lean log model our dv can be linear and idv it means independent variable can be log of the idv so that is all about semi log forms of linear regression or you can say regression model thank you